what's up guys i'm new here with the wild things tech and in this video i'm going to show you how to troubleshoot outlook if you're unable to send and receive emails so stay tuned and i will see you on the other side okay so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and close outlook completely and we're going to go ahead and reboot our system so yeah i know i know i know the first thing you want to do is go ahead and reboot your system because nine times out of ten that fixes a lot of issues so that's worth giving a shot so go ahead and do a reboot once the system is rebooted and the system is back up we're going to go ahead and verify that you have internet connection so i'm going to open up um let's say edge and i'm going to go to google.com so if i'm able to land on this page that means i have internet connection and that is not the issue so let's move on to the next step go ahead and close out edge or your browser go ahead and reopen outlook let's see if the reboot fixed it so bam it fixed mine but it may not fix yours so if it didn't fix yours and you're still not able to send or receive emails go ahead and close outlook again i want you to hit the windows key type in run type in outlook space forward slash safe and this command will open up outlook in safe mode so go ahead and hit enter go ahead and select the default outlook mailbox it should just say outlook so go ahead and select it and hit ok so working in desktop support, I see this issue a lot and nine times out of 10, it is due to a recent password change. So Microsoft Outlook doesn't always prompt you to update your password once you change it and it will yet send and receive emails until one day it realizes that your password changed and it doesn't prompt you to put in a new one. So by opening up in safe mode, it kind of forces Outlook to ask you for that new up-to-date password. And all you have to do is close Outlook and open it back up normally, and it should work. But obviously this doesn't always work. So if this doesn't work for you, let's move on to the next step. Go ahead and close Outlook once again. And this time we are going to go to Credential Manager. So we're gonna to go to Windows Credentials and you want to look for anything that's associated with your email account and you just want to go ahead and remove it so remove anything that has that email account and close out of here and you should be able to open up outlook again and it should prompt you for password you might have to close this out and open in safe mode again but if this doesn't work for you then we have another step we could take we could go ahead and close this once again and this time we're going to create a new mailbox we're just going to go to control panel click enter and we want to type in mail because i like to search for everything and we're going to click on here and we're going to show profiles and you see here i got two profiles you might just have one so what you want to do is add a profile and like I got that Omni there I already added that name it whatever you wanted to name it Omni 2 you want to hit OK now this new profile will have the identical copy of your old profile emails so there's no worries about deleting or losing anything you will have all your emails so uh, you just name it whatever you want to name it and then put in the correct email address of course in your latest password hit next and that should load up normally and then you could choose to once you hit okay obviously you're going to go through that you could choose to keep your old one or you could keep them both um a lot of times people just keep both hit okay because out of fear they might lose something if that step doesn't fix the issue then the next thing we could do is go ahead and 
try to quick fix Outlook. So you want to go down here and to add or remove uh, outs and you want to search for Microsoft, um, I believe Microsoft Office. Or we can scroll down, <laughs> as you see, it's not coming up. So you could go down here and click on this and click on modify. And you want to click yes when it prompts you. You must have admin rights. And you want to go ahead and do the quick repair. And then after the quick repair, you want to go ahead and open up Outlook again. See if that works. If that doesn't work, come back to the step and go to online repair. If that doesn't work, then the last result is to uninstall Office completely. Don't worry, it won't remove any data. It's just removing the client. And then reinstall the client and then see how that goes. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully one of those steps was able to fix your Outlook issue. If it did, drop a like, sub, click that notification bell to get notified when I drop the next video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.